You know, they're in hell today. There are people in hell that did good. There are people in hell that are good. And they went to hell being and doing good. Though the Bible says there's none good, no, not one. But they are in hell because they rejected the finished work of Jesus. There are people in hell today, and they were baptized. They were baptized of salt water, fresh water, tap water. They were sprinkled, they were immersed. They were baptized as babies. <clears throat> they were baptized as adults. And they are in hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. There are people in hell today that went to church. And they went to church faithfully. And they are on or were on membership rolls of their church. And they were Baptists. They were Catholics. They were Presbyterians. They were Seventh-day Adventists. And they went to hell because they rejected Jesus Christ. There are preachers and teachers and evangelists in hell today. And they preach and talk to small congregations. And they preach and talk to big congregations. And they may have been on the table TV. They may have been on the radio. They may have been world travelers. But they are in hell today because they rejected Jesus Christ. There are fathers, there are mothers in hell today because they rejected Jesus Christ. And the people that are in hell today, whatever their testimony is, they did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. They had other ways. They had another person. They had something else, but they did not have Jesus. And that's why they're in hell. A man or woman that's in hell today has rejected the finished work of Jesus. And anybody that is in heaven today are in heaven through Jesus Christ. There are thieves in heaven by faith in Jesus. There are robbers in heaven because of the finished work of Jesus. There are criminals in heaven because they put their faith and trust in Jesus. They are the wicked of wickets in heaven today because they put their faith and trust in Jesus. Where the difference between a man that does right and a man that does wrong. A man that puts his faith and trust in Jesus goes to heaven. And a man that rejects Jesus goes to hell. A man that says, oh, hope in the Pope and no Jesus dies and goes to hell. A man that believes that Jesus is not God will die and go to hell. A woman that says, oh Mary, help me, 
And Mary cannot get you out of heaven. Mary will drive you into hell. Oh, preacher, put my name on the rolls of this church. But don't put my name on Jesus. We'll die and go to hell. Put me under the water. But don't put me through the blood of Jesus. And you'll die and go to hell. That dying thief upon the cross confessed his sins and put his trust in Jesus. And Jesus said today, Thou shalt be with me in paradise. If you want to be with God and Jesus, in glory, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Amen. There is nothing else approved of God when Jesus said, He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. There is no access to God outside of Jesus. You'll say to God one day, God, Allah, and Allah will get you into hell. Allah is a fallen God that can't save your soul. Only Jesus saves. There is no hope in the Pope, but there is the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus is hated. The work of the Christians are hated. But God loves the feet of them that preach the glad tidings. And the glad tidings, the good news that Jesus suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the good news. That's the only news that will save you. Religion is fake news. Works is a fake news. Doing good is a fake news. But Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. 